An MIT football player knows all about overcoming challenges. He was born with one hand. And now he's getting ready to run his first Boston Marathon on a team founded by a marathon bombing survivor. As WBZ's Anna Myler shows us, the cause is important to both of them. As a football player for MIT, Riley Quinn has made some incredible interceptions. But the first is one he'll never forget. And so I think the coaches and players were a little surprised. They're like, look, if this kid has one hand and he can catch a football, we should be able to figure this out. So I think it was a little source of inspiration to motivate my teammates. Riley has always inspired those around him. He was born without a left hand, but he has never let that limit him. Not in baseball, basketball, football, or life. Uh, I like to think I live my life and uh, don't really let anyone else define what I can and can't do. He has that same mindset now as he gets ready to run the Boston Marathon with Team Limitless, raising money for the Heather Abbott Foundation. And I thought, you know, he just embodied our motto, which is live your life. Um, he was, you know, obviously born with circumstances that could have limited him a lot if he let them, and he didn't. Heather started her foundation the year after the Boston Marathon bombings. So I was um, impacted by the second explosion. I remember feeling as though my leg was on fire. Um, I was in a lot of pain, and I knew I couldn't get up and run like everybody else was doing. As Heather recovered from having part of her left leg amputated, she quickly realized that learning to walk again wouldn't be the only challenge. A lot of times, insurance won't cover um, some of the more advanced prostheses that are cosmetic or are used for athletics, like running. Amputees are faced with either a very large bill to pay for them or being limited and not being able to do activities that they want to do. Through One Fund Boston and other charitable donations, Heather has been able to get customized prosthetic devices, like this one, which allows her to wear high heels again. I think it gave me um, feeling as though I didn't have to give up everything um, that was important to me in my life and also my privacy um, without people seeing it all the time. Now Heather has made it her mission to raise money so other amputees can also have access to customized prosthetic devices, which can cost tens of thousands of dollars out of pocket. It's a way of paying it forward and um, I guess kind of making sense out of something senseless. So far, her foundation has helped 30 people who have lost limbs due to traumatic circumstances. And the goal is to help many, many more. Just knowing that I'm raising money for, for a cause that matters so much to me and uh, will, will impact the lives of others. So it's like that extra push where it just makes me try a little bit harder and get through that those last couple miles and my legs are dragging and heavy. And, uh, and yeah, just having that, that motivating force to keep going forward. Anna Myler, WBZ News. Hmm. Riley and Heather, two inspirations. Hmm. Since its founding, the Heather Abbott Foundation has raised about $900,000, and the organization hopes to increase that to a million dollars by the end of this year. I have no doubt that that will be raised, particularly when people find out that those donations help other people achieve independence they wouldn't have otherwise. When you see some of those images of people when they get that, that prosthetic that helps them run or, or live their life a bit more normally, right. Absolutely. What, what a remarkable uh, gift that they're giving everyone. Heather Abbott from the start has been an inspiration. No question. Life changing and great to tell Riley's story too. WBZ, of course, proud to be your marathon station. Race day is coming right up. It's Monday, April 15th. We're going to get you started with WBZ this morning, live on the race route and complete marathon coverage starting at 7 a.m. right here on Channel 4.